Hello. Today I'm going to be unboxing a BBC microcomputer, Model B, from somewhere around 1985. Actually, I don't know when it's from. Somewhere, something like that. Something like 1985. So this is the original box. It says BBC microcomputer, Model B, and it's got the serial number on there at the front. So, the original box, and we we'll just open it up, take it out. I really don't want to break the polystyrene packet. Turn it around this way. So, there we are. That is computer. So it's a Model B with 32k of RAM and that's the original as it comes in the box. So let me just move this out of the way. This mains lead is a little bit, um, uh, well it's been touching the polystyrene for the last 30 years so it's a little bit damaged from that but the case is okay it looks in good condition there's the back so quite a nice example let's see what we've got in here this is the guarantee so the original guarantee uh, acorn computers valid in uk only now, Acorn computers are in the Fullbourne Road, just outside Cambridge, and when I used to drive to work in Cambridge, um, I used to drive past the Acorn computer factory, which then turned into an arm factory. Not an arm factory, I mean they don't make arms, but arm as in advanced risk machine, ARM. <laughs> oh dear. Right. BBC microcomputer service. So this is where you take your computer to be fixed if it breaks. That's quite interesting. It's quite a nice document. Ah, what we got? The user guide. That's quite quite good. I like this user guide because it uh, it shows you a lot of stuff about programming, how to write the software. It's uh, it's pretty good. And here we have uh, the welcome booklet, which just shows you, it's like a quick start guide, I suppose. It tells you how to set up the, uh, how to set up the computer. And, and here we have the welcome cassette with all the programs down the side. This cassette is actually in really good condition. It's uh, because it's been in the box for 30 years. It's uh, it, it's as new as it would have come out of the factory. Mind you, the computer's pretty new as well as it as it came out. It's been sitting in someone's loft. Um, a friend of mine at work is loft for about 30 years. So when I got it, I had to do the capacitor modification in the power supply uh, because if you don't do that when you switch it on it goes bang and the smoke comes out as this one did which is uh, which is quite dramatic they all do it so and it's an easy fix you can buy the capacitors off eBay uh, they're really cheap this is the original inlay card for the elite game um, this is the original booklet for the Elite game. I don't have Elite, which is a bit of a shame because I used to like playing Elite, but never mind. Right, this is the polystyrene um, case. There was a singer called Polystyrene in the 1980s, in lead singer of X ray specs. A little bit of trivia there. Because I don't have a proper cassette lead, 
I'm just shoving the wires into the cassette port. So the one at the bottom is ground and the one on the far left is signal. So there we are. Oh look, it's half past. So that's what I'm going to use. It worked when I was a kid, so it can work now. No problem. We're all wired up now, so I've got the composite video coming out of the BBC into a small converter, which means I can run it on my um, LCD monitor. I haven't got a cathode ray monitor anymore, and I don't have a cathode ray television. So, we're all working. BBC Computer 32K Turbo MMC Basic. Right, the Turbo MMC is actually a disk drive controller inside the computer. Um, it cheats because it doesn't have a disk, it has a small, um, uh, what do you call it, not an SD card, it's an MMC card. It's almost SD but it's a different format. But that's by the by, I'm not going to use that because that would be cheating and that's not half as much fun. So I'm going to turn it into a tape machine. So if I type star tape, it's not tape is it? P, P, E. Um, the first thing I notice when typing on this is when you put your hands on the home keys, there are no little blips on the F and the J. So it's actually quite difficult to get my hands on the home key. And back in the day when I used to program one of these, I always did everything single finger anyway. So, right, turn on my tape player. Back in 1980, my dad took me to Cambridge and we went to a, a conference and it was a lecture in one of the universities and it was by Acorn Computers and they were giving a lecture on this new computer that they just invented um, and I begged my dad to buy me one so he put in an advanced order and we got one of the first computers one of the first BBC's and I had great fun with it um, unfortunately I blew it up because I plugged the aerial into a television where the aerial isolator had gone. So, we've got the welcome tape in and I've got my cassette player. It's a JVC KD10, whatever that is. It's uh, my old tape player from the 1990s, I think. So we're going to type chain, C-H-A-I-N, quote, quote. So it's searching for the tape. So let's push play. Okay, so this is working. This is really good. This little, let me stop that. This little pre-runner on the tape um, is just to show you that you've got the volume set right. So it'll keep going and it'll say your volume is set properly. It's actually a lot of copies of the same program. So if I escape that and just list it, See, it's actually loading in a little program. So line 100 is CLS, which is clear the screen. Print tab 9,9, 9, which is moved down there a bit. Um, your volume control is set properly. Uh, please wait for the first program to load. And so it'll keep chaining in that. Um, it'll keep chaining in that program. So I will just wait for the first program to load. Actually, I might just fast forward it because this is a bit boring. Ah, there they are. Just load the first program. Loading intro, this is good. So these numbers here go up in hexadecimal to tell you how many, uh, how much data it's loaded. 04, 05, 06, 07, 08. And that's the end address. 
0880. Oh, that wasn't right. It should have automatically run that program. That's not right. It didn't load it. Let me do it again. Type new just to um, just to clear the memory. Chain quote quote. You put the tape in the right place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, loading intro. Here we go. We'll do it all again. The joys of computing. I've got the sound coming out of my headphones. So, uh, that's... Uh, yeah. I like to hear the noise, you know? Are you allowed to transmit data over YouTube? I'm not sure. Excellent. It says, please... Press, no, press the stop button on your tape recorder. Press the space bar to continue. There we go, and that's it. I'm not going to go through the whole welcome tape. Um, I'm sure other people have done that. But uh, there you go, that's the BBC computer out of the box. Oh, oh, here we go, oh, look at that. Yay, one, two, got to get the other two. I have no shame, Pac-Man, best, best game ever invented. <laughs> right, if you do have an old BBC computer, there are a couple of things you should do to it. So the first one is um, when the capacitors in the power supply get old, they get brittle and they dry out, and if you drag your BBC out of the loft, plug it in, switch it on, the power supply will go bang and it will put loads of smoke out the back and it looks quite dramatic. Um, they all do it, okay? They all, they all do it. Do not throw your computer away, they all do it. Um, there's a kit that you can buy off eBay, which is a capacitor kit, and you buy this kit and you take the capacitors out of the power supply and you fit the new capacitors in and away it goes again and it's as good as new, almost, yeah, as good as new. Um, if you don't want to do the soldering, then you can buy a power supply which has had the capacitors change. And you do a swap, you give them your power supply and they give you one which has been done. It's quite easy to do. I did, I did this one. Um, also, if you get a little Turbo MMC um, kit, um, there's a, a disk drive controller chip which you plug into your computer and there's a little circuit board which you plug in underneath and when you do shift break uh, it comes up with every game ever invented for the BBC computer and you can play Pac-Man, Defender, Snapper, Planetoid, um, Arcadians, you name it. Um, look for the MMC cards, they're really really good. Uh, it's a worthwhile upgrade. I've, I've done both of them to this computer. So, enjoy.